Oh, they go Puck. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I mean, Puck is fine. I don't think he's bad by any means. Uh, he's definitely yeah. not as dominant as last time. I think as far, can solo this lane provided he gets an early boots, which might be fine. Right now. Unless S4 dies here with a purification. One more hit, and there we go. SG get the kill on S4. Like, just, uh, just an enjoyer I'm more of, of life. I'm not than a player. I am a luxury okay. player, though. That's what I am. Oh my god, dude, yeah. I, I respect Tau. you so much, but then like you come to me and you say you like DK <laughs> and you Tio play... Uh, oh, Tealicor is about to die. You have RP. one more hit, FNG. Get him. Tealicor dies to FNG. Well done. And Nico Baby has Holy Missile in a second. That was to be careful. There's the Mongo. Uh, you, just, you just jinxed him. You just jinxed him, the Fisher. I did. Postabile has the war cry. We have a purification ready. Oh and one last hit. That's going to be enough. Bye bye S4. <laughs> God, that was so much damage. A decent amount of time to take this tower. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think SG cares if KJ dies here. No, nope, oh, look at nice that. Nice use of the uh, Humble Story. Good use. Yeah. I, I actually think the is quite a bad, but good use of it. King Jungle should die here. Yep. That's probably even better for him, but Razor, yep. definitely. FNG tanking the gank. That's perfectly fine. And FNG will die. So SG, good move. You have to attack the triangle now, make sure Jarakov oh. is not strong. But only getting a 5 is not enough, that's why they're going mid and trying to find the Venomancer. God Strength tactic by Costabile. The oh, Dream Pearl breaks, snaps, S4. Those are your forward. Supernova S4 is going to get cooked unless they actually don't jaunt to the orb. They deal with the tower instead. The Wolves are dealing with S4. Are they going to have enough damage? Shunray as well. S4 crawling himself to safety. But unfortunately, he's not going to find it. And Tealicor deals well with the creeps thanks to those fire spirits. Yeah, no, look at him. He has more now. Oh, he's oh, a Helm of the Overlord blast. Aura. It's because of the Vlads. Oh, Vlads. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, well, the Helm of the Overlord. Oh, right S4. Here. S4. S4. Where you go, buddy? He used the Poison Nova. Got saved, maybe? No. That the Hand of God is not going to be sufficient. There keeps chasing to his death. They do manage to gank on the Dragon, though. Four creeps versus one. And no matter how strong you are, there's power in numbers. Pump on S4. Oh, so it's a good play, theoretically. Well, maybe yeah, I think if, if the game was even, I think it could have worked. Okay. Okay, Kostavile. Does the Aegis, though. He might just lose his first life. He's lost way too much damage. I don't think they want to fight here. But Kostavile is quite tanky. <laughs> Thanks to Heavenly Grace. And in fact, FNG is on the wrong side of this fissure. FNG now closed in. FNG pummeled to death. Level game right now. Between his vision games, his po tower pushing. It's like, it's like Broodmother of the new era, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> it is the... Nope. Oh, stop it. Oh, or maybe not. It's the Razor, perhaps. Spirit Vessel. He dispels it with the Yule Scepter. We have a Supernova in the middle of five. Phoenix is crazy, but they will get limp because of it. The egg is going to explode. That was insane, the only code. I don't think he had to do that necessarily, but at least they get Razor in exchange, so not that bad. Costabile takes the tower. He still has the Aegis, so he can die at least once. Aegis has another 50 seconds. They actually find S4 out of position. He's going to fall. But they can't bring down Nico Baby Fissure. Will cover him nicely. Already has the Ags as well. Instead, they're going to go for an easier kill. FNG is the target. And FNG will die to the Helm of the Overlord Creep. From SG. Are they just going to go for it? There's no blink, but they do see Venno. Oh, there is a blink. Oh Sorry, on the puck. And that's going to be enough to finish off S4 once again. Go for the tower now. With a Lycan and a God Strength Sven. I don't think this tower is going to last very long. But at least Nico is capable of clearing some of the creeps. Ancient Black Dragon still very scary. He's going to clear the Plague Wards. Nico be afraid of the Fireball and the Dragon. <laughs> the Dragon's too strong. He manages to beat it, though. Because S4 didn't really get a an okay lane or a free lane. He is a burden, unfortunately. Yep. Costabile. Costabile. Yeah, he yeah, has the break. That's a dead Nico Baby at this rate. Activate PKB. Can be sufficient. Except what? And there's the rest of the team. Costabile will walk into a Razor. It's like, okay, try to lifesteal or tell, take my damage. Doesn't matter. Oh, nice Fissure. Fissure. And it's going to close him in. But ADR is happy to join the fray. There's a Supernova to defend them. ADR will try to chase after Nico Baby. Tabo's joined as well. With the Dagon, they're going to be able to finish him off. Nico Baby is dead, which means you're lacking the damage for this fight. Limp was capable of TPing, but Hanskin will not be so lucky. Yeah, the, 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 it was a good rotation from the Phoenix, like the the, the Fury core rotation the, on the second kill. But the first blood going uh, yeah. the way of SG, I don't think that should happen. Oh, 
They're going for a Shaker first. Shapeshift also been activated. God Strength. There we go. FNG first to die. And he doesn't even get mech off. They didn't have Hand of God. Supernova in the middle of this. They want to break the egg, but they can't. They shouldn't even try. S4 now running away, but S4 is going to get stunned. Killed by the Sunray as the Lycan brings down Handskin. And they're looking for a Razor as well. He might have taken some damage, but they're going to damage him regardless. Now two Wolves running around your base, taking down your heroes. You only have a gyrocopter left, and the GG is called. Alliance is done with this game. Once they saw the wolf Sven, I think they pretty much gave up. I mean, it is evasion versus Sven, first of all. Okay, well, that's that's the one point. I'm and solving. you do have alacrity and power, but they go do so. Uh, but you you might lose like one stack because you have to wait for the first minute and realize that it's actually blocked. But they probably have a really good idea. Like it's literally their plan: just stack for this do so and farm it. Wyvern. Find FNG. FNG's gonna die. <laughs> okay, that was the easy Yeah. Start. Terms of carries here. The uh, Hanskin. Baby. Hanskin. He's been slowed down. Mystic Snake. One last hit. It's gonna be for Costabile. But King Jungles will die to S4. Yes, with the port. That's gonna be enough to kill him off. And Costabile trying to kill the boar, realizing he shouldn't have even tried. Actually now trying to run away, uses the Mystic Snake, that's not going to be enough. And S4 going to get a double kill here. The slow for the boar is good, but the Magic Stick is a bit better. And S4 knows when to retreat. He's doing a good job. He knows how to play a bit aggressively on the Sven, right? Which is not a... It's a rarity. How do you farm aggressively? Well, we're going to see it here. But bottom lane, though, the aggression is actually piling up. As Hanskin is going to be the first kill here for ADR, which will give him a couple of earned charges. He even saves his line in the process. Not going to die to those boars. Never mind. Oh, KJ! He is going to fall to the boars themselves. Uh, it really allows him to do more damage in those fights. Yep. Oh, RP. RP. Up top. Yeah. Find Nico, baby. EMP set up. Cold snap. They skewer him into the EMP. Nico, baby, trying to get away. But they shock with him back, and Nico, baby, will fall. Hey, DR regaining that lost earn charge and getting a really valuable kill there on the enemy carry. While Dusa, yeah, no stacks, but still getting the triangle farm that she was looking for. We just got Vessel and ADR, but it's coming on the courier here, so he's still not going to have it for this fight. Oh, looking to finish way. off. Yep, there you go, S4, there's a blink dagger showing. They don't have RP, but they might not need it. Supernova in the middle of this, and he's killed with a finger of death. You see a TP from the Sanking, but he promptly leaves. As FNG gets stunned by the Supernova, Tabo nearby as well, shock him back. The Sunray, FNG tries to heal back up, and in fact, they will kill the Phoenix in return. FNG still alive, dying finally to Costabile. We'll use that Stone Gaze. Who try to get someone oh. instead? They're gonna skewer him back. Limp. He's been hit by the cold snap. The earn as well. But is that gonna be enough damage? No. The cold snap ends, and they're gonna fight him instead of the sun strike. ADR's best skill, known as the sun strike sniper, three four years ago, is back. Not if you smoke first, though. Oh, like this, and then you find the invoker. Where's your cataclysm now, kid? Mm. ADR. He gets the killed despite range. having a good tornado. But they do have to leave the tower there to die. Oh, that's Costabile. He might look like a carry, but at his heart, he is an offlaner. He comes defending the tower. They don't know about this Hawk. This Hawk is giving amazing vision right now. They have to be careful yeah. on SG. They're very confident in just taking this tower because they know where Costabile is and where the whole team is. Oh, Prowl Roar. Supernova defensively. Okay, the oh. RP. Scoring back into the Supernova. They do cold embrace, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Sanking's going down. Goodbye to Lin. Instead, they find King Jungles, and King Jungles will die, avoiding them here. Mm -hmm. Magnus has a blink of four staff. Oh, but he's oh. coming for a strike. They help the Sunray. They force him forward. The spam from behind. There's a supernova tornado. Nicolaby can't break the egg. Limp is actually stuck here as well. And they're actually going for Nicolaby, who's out of position. Winter's curse, though, might just reset the fight and also kill Davo. What a curse by FNG, saving his carry, and now with the epicenter, that's the real fight reset. The only court is down, ADR slowed ever so slightly, Nico Ebi takes on the supports, and Costabile, even with Alacrity, he's been left behind. But they're a bit afraid to engage him, as Nico Ebi doesn't have enough HP here. We'll see who's victorious. Kind of weird, because the dance analogy, like, you don't really win when you dance, but I, I can't think of anything else. Oh, no, the, uh, the Hawk actually uh, clips the oh, smoke. Oh no, there. Lion should not be leading this charge. Lion immediately. Oh, no, he blinked. But we're near the Winter Wyvern. They might have actually found FNG. So that blink from Lion was perfect. FNG's down. You don't have a Winter's Curse this time. And in comes Double flying over. Sunstrike. He didn't get the memo. He's going to bring S4 with him. There's a Supernova in the middle of this. Nico Ebi rushes to try to destroy the egg. Can he do it in time? Yes, he will be able to. Nico Ebi breaks the. No, never mind. I spoke too soon. 
The egg just barely made it, stunning everyone, turn this team fight around, S4's down, Hanskin as well, Nikoi being slow by the Scotty, Tabo nearby, Winter's Curse once again, saving Nikoi's life and killing off Tabo. F and G. Well, this is why I mean, they say Woolly Mammoths died with the Ice Age, right? That's exactly what happened there. Oh, they're Lion worried, dude. in trouble. He does have the dust, though. So at least he will be able to get the dust off. Cold Embrace saving Limp. And they do catch with a tornado. It's Nico Abe, the true carry. He's out of God's strength and soon to be out of HP as well. As Sunray's tearing through, but Nico Abe is a bit too fast. The vessel is bringing him down. Sunstrike! Oh. Ooh, almost guessed it. Nico Abe instead will be dying to the fire. Teams as Theo Licor will get the kill and the backlines, Costabile will deal with the rest of the team. Ends up being a win for SG. Correct to do something else, but sometimes you cannot predict what's going to happen. Like, yeah. Oh, oh look at King Jungle. He is crazy. He just went in, hexed Alina. I think. Oh, he's actually gonna get the Lina. Limp is forced to retreat. Hanskin's gonna die instead. All right. <laughs> I think it's quite funny as well. I especially love that he's been using it just to beat the Lina. Like it's been <laughs> the one time he did it, it was just to kill oh, us all KJ. support. Once again. Oh no, Limp. Yeah, let's see how how well positioned they are here. I think they're that's pretty good. Medusa on front. Uh, KJ inside the pit. Oh. No. Oh my god, KJ's playing so well this game. He really is, but Dusa might be out of position here and they're trying to rush her down. There's the help. He doesn't actually stone gaze. Oh. RP instead from Aurora though. They keep her in place. They just needed more damage and Costabi will fall. Nico Abe getting that kill supernova. It doesn't matter this time. As Nico Abe can just continue. They're not afraid of the rest of the team. In fact, Limp, stun style, but he has an A on this, so he's gonna be able to get out of here. Okay. Beastmaster is back. Yeah, he's just the aura, aura boy oh, again. Alacrity, Costabile just jumps into the high ground. I don't know if that's the choice, though. The limp is charging Alacrity that epicenter. Dispelled. And a go for Costabile. RP. Oh. oh, stopped, actually. They couldn't. Now the RP comes out, but a bit too late. Maybe Costabile could already die. They Winter's Cursed him to keep him in place. The Supernova Stun comes out, but Costabile is already dead. You lost your big carry. Nico is free to do whatever he wants. Steal the code is just easy pickings. The Light Strike Array catches ATR perfectly. Who's the sniper now? As he hits him with a Yule Scepter. ADR invisible, but not unkillable. Nico Abe destroys him with a single crit. All right. W what is the last attempt, SG? What are you going to bedazzle us with? What is the option here you, you've thought up of? Because the lion's five already going for RP. smoke. You need a five-man <laughs> okay. RP into a cataclysm, cataclysm that doesn't exist, unfortunately, because oh, yeah. he did go for Lincoln's and has a refresher queued up. Oh, uh, Limp just revealed himself. Oh, it's okay. They still find the Invoker. It's all good. Oh, Invoker's my. dead. The, even if the Cataclysm was available, it wouldn't be. Because Invoker's dead. And the Winter's Curse, of oh. course. One last time for the Magnus. But he had A on this, so they didn't... Okay, FNG. Costabile has a BKB, oh, BKB this time. He won't get stunned. The A on this saving FNG. Costabile's BKB is about to expire. Nico Abbey is waiting it out. He has a Swift Blink still. In comes Hanskin. Yule Scepter, Light Strike Array, Nico Baby, no one to fight the Dusa, just decide to take the racks or the towers instead. Costabile is now by creeps, by heroes, by damage, everything's hitting Costabile. We hear an RP which misses, Tabo doesn't hit the Sven, and Costabile is down once again without buyback. The GG is called, SG is done, and Alliance will make sure to turn this into a tie. Yeah, they played really well. I think this was a, a really good game in general, both teams being very patient.